Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today Lala and Dipsy are hanging out in the garden. And they're going to go see if the chickens have laid any new eggs. What are the other Teletubbies doing? Tinky Winky's brushing his teeth. You should brush your teeth twice a day. And where's Poe? Poe's still sleeping. She knows it's important to get enough sleep every night. Okay, let's go check on the chickens, Lala and Dipsy. The Teletubbies have cute yellow soft chicks. One, two, three, four. And it looks like they've laid some colorful eggs. Two pink and two blue. But there's a big egg behind the chicks. Where did that come from? Dipsy and Lala have a great idea. We can do an egg experiment since Easter's coming. You can try this at home with a parent. You put an egg, uncooked, in a glass jar or cup. You fill the cup with vinegar and let the egg sit in the vinegar for at least 24 hours. Slowly the vinegar dissolves the eggshell which is made of calcium carbonate. And because the vinegar is made of acid, the reaction between the shell and the vinegar creates bubbles, or carbon dioxide. The shell eventually dissolves. While we're waiting for our shell to dissolve, We'll relax with Kitty for a little bit. She needs cuddles every single day. It's been 24 hours, which is the same as one whole day. It's time to take our egg out and rinse it off. Oh boy, it sure looks different. There's definitely no shell left. It's very, very squishy, and it looks like it could be bouncy. Maybe we'll try and bounce it on the floor as part of our experiment. Uh-oh, that didn't work out too well. The outer layer of the egg broke, and our egg splattered all over the floor. Well, that's the end of this experiment. It's time to clean up. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and happy Halloween, Tiny fans. We have our party surprise ready to show you. Don't we, Lala? But first we have a special guest joining us. Can you guess who it is? Kitty loves her mandarin orange box when I'm working on Tiny Treasures videos. Silly Kitty. Let's show them our surprise. Uh-oh, Kitty isn't being very nice to Poe. Kitty. Oh, Kitty, you won't be able to be at the party if you're not going to be nice to my Teletubbies toys. Please behave. Thank you. Now let's look up everybody for our special surprise. Here are some hints. It's pink and it has a horn on its head. It's a pink unicorn pinata. And it was made using cardboard and colorful tissue paper. The horn is purple, teal, and pink. And then it has a beautiful mane made of tissue paper ribbon. And the same with the tail, it matches the mane. And at the bottom, there are ribbons. And we are gonna pull the ribbons and one ribbon will open the door to reveal candy that will drop to the ground. 
Poe is going to pull a ribbon first. Oh, she pulls the orange ribbon. That didn't open the door, did it? Next is Lala. Lala chooses a yellow ribbon to pull. That didn't open the pinata. Now Tinky Winky takes a turn. Which ribbon are you going to pull? The blue ribbon. Still no candy. Finally, Dipsy has a turn. Let's pull the green ribbon. Oh! The green ribbon opened the door and candy fell to the ground. There's some chocolate bars and a yummy organic sucker. There's one candy for everyone. Lala gets the O. Henry. Poe gets the Hershey's bar. Tinky Winky gets the Watermelon Organic Pop. And Dipsy loves the chocolate peanut butter Reese peanut butter cup. No chocolate for Kitty. Let's get Kitty a cat treat. Happy Halloween, Kitty. And happy Halloween, tiny fans. Please stay safe and social distance wherever you go. Thank you and goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today is one of the Teletubbies' favorite subjects, physical education. Jim allows our bodies to move, and if our bodies move, our brains work better. The Teletubbies sit on the bench and listen quietly to the instructions of their teacher. Hello class, today in gym we are going to be doing gymnastics. There are four stations and each student will be taking turns at each station. The first station is the bars. There are three bars on this station. Above the bars we have the blue rings which you can hang from. And then over here we have the red ladder to climb up. And then we have the hula hoop. Okay, let's get started with the stations. Poe is on the bars to start. She uses her hands and legs to balance. It requires a lot of strength to balance on the bars. But it takes even more strength to use the rings. Tinky Winky jumps up and grabs each ring. Tinky Winky is holding up his entire body weight and hanging in the air. He can feel the muscles in his arms starting to hurt. Lala is at the hula hoop station. It's a red hula hoop today. She can swing the hula hoop around her wrist, her waist, or she can use it to create a beautiful dance. Dipsy is at the red ladder station. The red ladder can swing as Dipsy climbs up, so the instructor holds on to it to help Dipsy out. Dipsy gets about halfway and can't quite go up any further. His arms and legs are starting to hurt, so he climbs down very slowly and safely. Good job, Dipsy. It's time to switch stations. It's Lala's turn on the rings. After gymnastics, it's basketball time. There's going to be a yellow team and a red team. Here, Dipsy, you put on the yellow pinny so that you can be yellow like Lala. Tinky Winky puts on the red pinny and he is on Poe's team. Each team that scores a basket will get two points and we will put the score on the scoreboard. Team Red will be A, and Team Yellow will be B. The game begins. Tinky Winky gets the ball, jumps, slam dunks the ball into the hoop. Two points for Red.
Next, Yellow gets possession of the ball. Dipsy jumps up to the net and misses. But Lala grabs the ball, passes it to Dipsy. Dipsy gets a slam dunk as well. Two points for Yellow. It's a tie game. The bell has rung. It's time for lunch. We'll end the game with a tie. Please hand in your pennies and you can head outside. Tinky Winky and Dipsy take off their pennies. They all thank their gym teacher for another great gym class and line up at the door. Now it's time to get some fresh air outside. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Again, we're looking at a very rare Teletubbies toy that we featured on Tiny Treasures years ago. It's a bead maze with lights, sounds, and buttons. And first we have Tinky Winky. Tinky Winky is on the yellow cable. Let's move him up and over. Oh, oh, he got stuck. And down he goes to the back of the Tubbytronic Superdome. Now we have Dipsy, and Dipsy has a separate bead, his hat. Let's slide Dipsy and his hat up the red cable. And down Dipsy goes. Lala has her big yellow ball. Let's slide Lala up the green cable. And last but not least, we have Poe, and she has a separate bead too, her scooter. Time to slide Poe up the purple cable. Poe lands right in the middle of the Tubbytronic Superdome. This toy is from 1999, so it's over 20 years old. Stay tuned for more rare Teletubbies toys from our trunk. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today the Teletubbies and I are going to hop on this bright blue Fisher Price jet. It lights up, makes sounds, and all of the Teletubbies can fit inside. Let's push the big red button. It's time to hop on. And we have a surprise when we reach our final destination. Oops, sorry, Tinky Winky. And Poe is the smallest, so she'll squeeze right in the back. We're ready for takeoff. The jet is headed towards our new playground. We're going to launch off the big yellow slide.
And now we've arrived at our final destination. Kitty's here to greet us. Now we know how Tiny fans love surprises. So there's something in this checkered bag. Let's have a peek and see what's inside. It's something we can build together. Let's pour them out so we can get a good look. Oops. We are gonna build three different types of vehicles. And if we need some help, there are some simple instructions on the bottom. Let's get started. The first one is a red dump truck. It's like a puzzle. So we need all of the red pieces. And this definitely fits on the back, but wait. We need to put the parts where there's cutouts for the wheels on first. Here's another piece with cutouts. And now we can put this piece on. And the windshield, of course. The first truck is complete. Let's put Poe in the back since she's red just like the truck. Now we'll do the orange vehicle. It is a front loader. Okay, this is a little more tricky, Tiny fans. We'll gather the pieces that have the cutouts for the wheels. This one. And Hmm, there's not another piece for the back wheels. Let's have a look at our directions. Okay, so it looks like this goes on the front. There we go. And this fits in here. The windows. And that oh, wasn't too hard. Come here, Tinky Winky. We're gonna give you a little ride. Beep, 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 beep. Finally, it's the green vehicle. Do you know what it's called? It's called a cement mixer. And it carries wet cement. This is what the cement goes into and it rotates constantly. Now, let's see, we'll put this piece on the front because that's the lights. And there are the back lights. This one's pretty simple. The windshield. And the mixing piece. Let's see, how does it go on? Okay. Uh, like this. Perfect. And which of the Teletubbies matches this truck color? Dipsy! Eo! And now that we're finished, it's time to clean up and take our trucks apart. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today the Teletubbies toys are going on another adventure. They're going to hop on their pink scooter with a sidecar. It has a little yellow teddy bear on the front of it. Now we don't have little mini helmets for our Teletubbies toys, but anytime we ride a bike or a scooter, we must wear helmets. Lala and Dipsy will ride in the sidecar. Tinky Winky is on the main part of the scooter in the back. And Poe is the driver today. We are headed to a museum. A museum is a fun, interactive place where we can learn lots of cool facts. Poe slows down and parks outside of the museum. We pay an admission and walk inside.
we see a green mining train. This used to ride through the tunnels of a mountain so that miners could find rocks like this. It's called mercury. Mercury is the red liquid inside a thermometer. This is a pretty stone. It's called malachite. Malachite can be used to make paint. Next, the kids find an interactive station. Match the fishing game. Hmm, this is tricky. Some of them are very similar. Oh, good, you got a match. These are Alaska rockfish. Can you see a match? Ooh, isn't this pretty? Did you know this is a light from a lighthouse? The purpose of the lighthouse is to warn boats of dangerous rocky areas near the water. And speaking of boats, we found this big wooden boat and it's a kid's area. So you can climb on it and climb in it. Hey, look, a dinosaur is coming through the wall. I'm not quite sure what kind of dinosaur it is, but it has a very big foot. The last display in the museum was this huge floating earth. Did you know the earth's surface is more than 70% water? And 95% of that water is salt water. Let's have some fun with our leapfrog globe and learn some names of countries. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Ethiopia. Algeria. Turkey. United Kingdom. Ireland. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Tiny Treasures has received a very fun gift for their birthday, the National Geographic Rock Tumbler. And it comes with all of these colorful jagged rocks. And when we follow the instructions, all of these rocks will be smooth stones. Pick your favorite stone and then remember what it looks like so you can see it at the end of the video. We are also going to choose some rocks off the beach. Tiny Treasures and Tiny Treasures Mini and Dora discover some very cool looking rocks. Let's add them to the tumbler. We will also add the stones that came with the kit. Remember, pick your favorite stone so you can see what it looks like at the end of the video once it's smooth and polished. Our first step is to add grit, water, and then it tumbles for a week. And the rocks are already smoother. Now this is only step one. We still have three more steps to go. Can you see your stone? They look quite different than when they went in the tumbler. Hey look, tiny fans. There's a little ladybug beside the rocks. Oh, I love ladybugs. Have you seen the video where we release hundreds of ladybugs in our greenhouse? If not, you should definitely check it out. Okay, tiny fans, here we are with our Teletubbies toys. We're about to add the grit number four polish, the last stage in polishing our rocks. Puppies having fun sniffing the grass. We need to open up the tumbler and empty out the grit and water from the last cycle. 
this is what it looks like. Let's pour out the water. Some of the rocks came out, but a lot of them are stuck inside the clay. I'm going to use my hand to dig out the rocks. Ooh, this is starting to get very messy and the clay is starting to get stuck under my nails. I used a hose and I sprayed the rocks and rinsed them off. Now they're clean. Do you see your rock? Some of the rocks have become so small, I don't think I can add them to the last cycle. They disappear into nothing. Ooh, there's one of the tiger eyes. I filled the barrel with water and now we place our rocks in the water. I'm going to leave these little rocks out of the last cycle. I add number four grit. And of course, I rinse off the Teletubbies toys. Let's turn the tumbler on. It spins the barrel. And after a week, we have our final stones. They're not as shiny as in the picture, but they're still very smooth and beautiful. These are the tiger eye stones. We had three of them in the kit. They are my favorite. The kit also came with a learning guide where you can identify the stones and learn about where they came from. Here's the tiger's eye, a lustrous gemstone. And then there's also something called red jasper. Let's see if we can find it in our stones. Do you spot the red jasper? Here it is. And then another type of jasper called Dalmatian jasper. Just like the Dalmatian dog, it has black spots. Do you see it? That one's very easy to find. Unfortunately, the rocks weren't as shiny as we expected, but we still had fun smoothing them out. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today our Teletubbies toys are on the search for their friend Iggle Piggle. Who's on the roof of the Pontypines house? Poe, that is very dangerous. It's time to get down. Lala and Tinky Winky will be taking the red train from the Muppet Babies as well as the blue Kermit Bug to search for Iggle Piggle. Which car are you going to drive, Lala? Kermit's blue bug. That means Tinky Winky will be driving the train. Where should we go first, Teletubbies? <coughs> Maybe Iggle Piggle is inside the Pontypines house. Let's give the door a little knock. Nobody is home. Hmm, I wonder where the Pontypines are today. I guess Iggle Piggle is not here. Let's keep looking, Lala. <coughs> Tinky Winky has spotted someone. Who is it? Look up. It's two of the little Pontypines. Me, 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 me. Lala has spotted a special friend. Who has Lala spotted? There's some flowers. And let's look up. Some striped tights. Do you know who it is, tiny fans? It's Upsy Daisy. 
Usually Iggle Piggle is with Hupsy Daisy. But I don't see Iggle Piggle. Let's keep looking, Tinky Winky. Tinky Winky has spotted two more of the Ponty Pines. Me, 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 me. And there is the Ninky Nonk. Could Iggle Piggle be on the Ninky Nonk? I look through the windows and I can't see Iggle Piggle. Who's this? Blue with spots? Yellow with spots? It's the Hahoos. Hahoo! Do you see Iggle Piggle with the Hahoos? And there's the Pinky Ponk. Maybe Iggle Piggle's on the Pinky Ponk. Maybe Macapaca knows where Iggle Piggle is. Oh, Macapaca is playing with his sponge. And some bubbles. But I don't see Iggle Piggle in here. It's starting to get dark. I hope we find Iggle Piggle soon. And guess what? Back at the Ponty Pines house, we find Iggle Piggle. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're having a look at our Jack in the Box toy with Tinky Winky and Lala. I turn the handle, the music plays, and then eventually Jack pops out of the box. Whoa! Our Teletubbies went flying. Are you okay, Lala and Tinky Winky? Do you want to know how a jack-in-the-box works? He actually doesn't have any legs or feet. Underneath is a tube containing a spring. When we push Jack into the box, the spring compresses. We close the lid, and there's a little red latch that keeps the door from opening. Oh, sorry, Jack. Got your little hand caught in there. So now I'm going to turn the handle and there's a mechanism inside the box that causes the little red latch to move and the spring pops up and pushes Jack out of the box. Watch the red latch. Did you see how it moved back? And the door releases. This is what a spring looks like inside a pen. It's the same sort of idea. The spring pops the head of the pen out. Tinky Winky and Lala want to give it a try. They're going to go in the box with Jack. See you in a minute. Whoa! Let's watch that in slow motion. We'll try it one more time. The Teletubbies are still in the box. Oh, this time they didn't fly into the air. Oh, look who's come by to check out the box. Stay back, kitty. Oops, it's okay, kitty. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. It snowed while we were sleeping, tiny fans, which means ski day for the family. Hip, hip, hooray. We love to be outside, whether it's summer or winter. The snow will be nice and soft. As we head up the hill, we see that the trees are covered in white snow. It's time to put on our equipment. It's important to wear our helmets. Look, there's a huge snow sculpture. It looks like a face with a mask. Actually, it's two faces. One of the faces has their mouth closed. 
and the other one has his mouth wide open so he can see his teeth. It's quite amazing. Now I need to walk in my ski boots. They're quite stiff, so they're not easy to walk in. Once we get our ticket, we head up on the chairlift. I always pack a little snack in case I get hungry. Today, it's little rice crackers wrapped in seaweed. And there's sea kelp. It's very salty, but full of minerals. And I put it in my reusable pouch. No plastic. Yes, Tinky Winky. I brought enough snacks for you too. We're getting close to the top, so I put my snack away in the pocket, and ski tips must be up. Let's ski through the soft, powdery snow, and we need to be careful not to get too close to the trees. When I get to a flat part, I need to walk with my skis on. We have the whole ski hill to ourselves. There's even some fresh powder. This is a nice flat area. Oh, oh, oopsies. I hit a bump, Tiny Fans, and I fell. I even lost a ski, but I'm okay. The snow was nice and soft. Let me just put my ski back on and we can keep going. Well, I think I better call it a day. Let's go back to the truck and load up our skis. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye.